Waves. Hi, I'm uh, Margaret Harmer and welcome to my studio, Shifting Waves, in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, we are going to perform a premiere of Ford Farm. It's based on an old movie done by my great uncle Dick Hills, who filmed it in the 70s in southern England, in Devon. Um, it's a really beautiful one-piece movie, which I composed um, the music to, and I'm performing today with also my friend Cécile Broquet, flutist. Um, um, you can see in my, the, the video, there's my great aunt Doris. She's knitting on the haystack and she's driving the track to the end. And it's just really beautiful um, English countryside. So thank you very much. Um, je dis aussi bonjour à tous mes amis uh, et uh, auditeurs francophones. Donc bienvenue uh, dans mon studio uh, Shifting Waves à Genève. Je suis avec Cécile Broquet qui est mon artiste invité aujourd'hui. Vous allez entendre uh, vraiment une première version de cette pièce Ford Farm qui est, qui est basée sur une vieille vidéo de mon grand-oncle Dick Hills. Uh, donc c'est dans le sud de l'Angleterre et vous voyez ma grande-tante qui est... Uh, sur les bottes de foin en train de tricoter, et puis sur le tracteur à la fin. Donc en fait, c'est une, une ferme qui appartenait, enfin qui était, euh, euh, n'appartenait pas, mais euh, qui était louée à, à, à des, des, mes cousins, en fait. Qui, voilà. Donc je vous remercie beaucoup, et euh, donc euh, belle, euh, belle représentation. She could not explain in so many words, but she felt that those who prepare for all the emergencies of life beforehand may equip themselves at the expense of joy.
it was English, and the witch elm that she saw from the window was an English tree. No report had prepared her for its particular glory. It was neither warrior nor lover nor god. In none of these roles do the English excel. It was a comrade bending over the house, strength and adventure in its roots, but in its utmost fingers tenderness and the girth that a dozen men could not have spanned became in the end evanescent till pale bud clusters seemed to float in the air. It was a comrade. Thank you. 
that takes place in the world's waters when love who seems so tiny a pebble slips in whom does love concern beyond the beloved and the lover yet his impact deludes a hundred shores no doubt the disturbance is really the spirit of generation welcoming the new generation and shafting against the ultimate fate who holds all the seas in the palm of her hand but love cannot understand this he cannot comprehend another's infinity he is conscious only of his own flying sunbeam falling rose pebble that asks for one quiet plunge below the threatening interplay of space and time
The sense of flux which had haunted her all the year disappeared for a time. She forgot the luggage and the motor cars and the hurrying men who know so much and connect so little. She recaptured the sense of space which is the basis of all earthly beauty and starting from Howard's End she attempted to realise England. She failed. Visions do not come when we try, though they may come through trying. But an unexpected love of the island awoke in her, connected on this side with the joys of the flesh, on that with the unconceivable. 